the smallest seven point in all of Ohio a heavy hey, beam? No, it would have been, oh, I said, dear. for Vermont standards, it would have been a really nice deer, okay? <laughs> it's an accomplishment to get the smallest buck in the state of Ohio, small seven point. Only one person's ever done it, and it's you. Yeah, that 84 year old guy comes up. So what we got? We got a deer. Oh, I got one. I think you got the smallest but seven point in the state of Ohio there, Sonny. <laughs> Big buck country. We made it into the, about five, two hundred yards away from, that's about five feet off the ground. Snap that one. Better look at the world's largest tree stand. But three o'clock. Three fifteen. It's it gonna get dark out. Six. Probably six out here. This come probably two hundred yards in the woods. Jump four and cold and hot. In what? Five, six grades? A lot of tracks. I'm trying to figure out where we can hunt it. Down in here, what maybe a half mile. Public land starts right there. Flames gonna go back up. You think you can find a tree to put in? Put your stand in? Yeah, there's a salt people up there. Do we have cell service? You can call me. I'm gonna probably just work down this and scout slash hunt from the ground. So we should be able to talk. All right, man. All right, this first evening in PA. I'm set up, the property line is as far as you can see the woods over there. We jumped four does back in the golden rod there. The further we get up towards the road and the soybeans, the more sign there is. Kind of on the edge of this ravine. Looks like they cross right through there. There's been four or five deer through. I walked all the way down here to the property line there's a piece of public back there and there's a hunter walking through a cornfield so i turn around William just missed a buck about right there. Yeah, we would have two in an hour. And then I almost killed it right almost. over there. We're gonna head to scout and we decided we better go back to our stand. How long was I in my stand for? 10 minutes. Maybe. 10, 20 minutes, another buck comes through and I killed it. Well, we haven't found it yet, but I'm pretty confident in my shot. What do we all know? We're on the eastern corner of this farm and the wind's been heavy out of the west and snow so we just decided to scout this edge and work in this way we knew that the deer would probably be feeding these beans so rather than just like go in and blow it all up we, William found the first sign this little pinch here 
and I just went down too far. There wasn't any sign, so I came back and sat near that ravine. And William had two bucks under him last night. And I had, over there, I saw a shooter buck come up the other side of the ravine. So this morning, William stayed here, and I just pushed him to the other side of the ravine. And uh, William's already missed a nice 10-pointer, and I just hit a 8-pointer. So we're going to see what we can find out. So I decided to hang the tree stand here this morning. I was over on the other side of the ravine last night, and that's where I saw the big buck come up through here. And we've got a logging road connecting with his main logging road, and they always like to travel up. We got the ravine here, so I figured it'd funnel him right by me or around the, the point of the ravine. So I set up in that tree, and I didn't get set up till 45 minutes after light and make it a freaking racket. So he's standing right here when I shot. What's this, 10 yards? Yeah. 15 yards? Yep. Came right along here. I mean, I can't tell a lot. There's still a little snow that it went through. But it kind of looks frothy a little bit, maybe. But it was close enough, I'm pretty damn confident. And then he ran here. We should be able to find the blood. And looped around towards the back of the bean field and went out of sight right over there. But yeah, like you said, in the sun, in, in the snow this morning, didn't seem that thick. The friggin' snow melt, and I'm like, Christ. Yeah. It was thick in this part. That might be him right there. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I see him. I see his belly right there. You do. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's a heavy, heavy antler. Yeah, it's kind of feel that on the top. It oh yeah, it's broke off a point here. Mm -hmm. Nothing too special, but decent sized body on it. It's not like not tiny by any means. Pretty good shot. <laughs> well, it wasn't very far. Well, that'll do. I said I wasn't going to be too picky here in PA. Kind of a cool rack though. Yeah. I just knew it was like a heavy, heavy rack. Yeah, 62 yard, four pointer. I don't even know if he has a four pointer. Oh, he had four pointer. <laughs> Generous. 